and sex, except from marriage, mysteries and dimensions beyond. This has been an inclusion afterwards because there was a question from someone who wanted to know more about love and sex. The question is what is meant by returning to the heart center? Does it mean one becomes more passionate? Is the heart also the source of passion? Can a man who is authentically centered at the heart be called passionate? Heart is not the center of passion. Remember this always. Heart is not the center of passion. Instead, heart is the center of compassion. Love belongs to the heart center and sex belongs to the first center which is third center. Or according to the Hindu terminology, it is called the Mulabha center, the base center or the third center. Usually the existential life energy is centered at the third center which is the first center of your psycho-spiritual energy tree. Then you are full of passion. The expression may be dominant. In that case, it remains passive. Just observe when sex remains passive. The energies are dominant. The expression may be dominant. In that case, it remains passive and when the energy activates, it usually becomes aggressive, then it is passionate. It can direct this energy into creative acts. This is lopsided development. There will be no explosion of joy in you when you direct your existential bio energy without explosion into the creative acts. When the energy is released from the earth center and reaches to the water center, harmony and balance is attained. The overflowing passions balance the two centers. These two centers are called the centers of passion. When you continue meditation, then your anima and animus or male and female centers are balanced. This is when the forces of the passions are subjugated, energy is balanced. As the journey continues, energy moves from water center to the fire center. The first two center is earth center and water center. As the energy continues and moves from water center to the fire center, the existential energy acts as fire wherein the passions and other lower emotions are burned because that is the purpose of the fire. When the clouds of a smoke are cleared, the inner sky becomes crystal clear the energy reaches the heart center. You get first pants of labor and love is about to assume good. The lower emotions of passion, anger, greed and jealousy give place to love. You are in a different realm of your existential time energy. This is the first experience of love. You can make heart center as your abode. Still it cannot be the permanent abode as energy is, as the energy is on transcendence. It is only when it starts descending and reaches the heart center, it is then it can become your abode. For instance, you are going from your home to the capital city. This is, we are calling it as ascendance, it is moving towards the capital city. It is still on the journey. 
we still have to explore all those temples which are alone within. And when its descent starts, it starts returning after visiting the capital city, the center of your energy. It reaches the thousand petal center and it starts descending and then it becomes fellow the same too. The roots remain the same way from both to the capital city and returning from the capital city to the throne. So when it starts returning and it reaches the heart center, because it has journeyed to all the centers, it has the experience of all the centers, and when it returns to the heart center, only then it can become your abode. And the man who lives in the heart center cannot be called Kampa, cannot be called passion. Instead, he can be called compassion. Passion comes from the sex center, all passion comes from the sex center. You can join the sex center and the heart, but from heart only love flows, not passion. Love is a very silent thing, non-aggressive, almost passive. It is a very silent breeze. Sex is passion, violence, aggression with force, with strong energy, it always attacks. The heart and sex center can join together. And when this happens, love becomes passion. The union can happen to this. If the heart center is not joined with the sex center, then love becomes compassion. This is an important aspect to understand. The sex center and the heart center can be joined in two ways. And when the heart center joins the sex center, then love becomes passion. If heart center is not joined with the sex center, then love becomes compassion. Then love is there in its total purity and only then when there is no passion in it, love exists in its purity because heart center is stained by itself. It is silent, passive and non aggressive You can invite it, but it will not knock at your door. This is the nature of love. It will not even ask you to be invited. You can persuade it to come. It can become your guest. But it will not come uninvited. Sometimes it happens, one of the partner attains to this state. It rarely happens that the two persons attain to this state together. When one has attained to this state, when one has attained to this state, he will be passive and he will never initiate the process of even whether he is made. Usually it is said that a male initiates the process of love. In that case, he will not initiate the process even if he is a male. He cannot be aggressive, then he cannot breathe. He is the embodiment of love. Love cannot breathe. However, sex always breathes in many ways. Even when legally it may not be considered rape, but suddenly it is rape. Sex is always a rape, legally or illegal. You may pursue the other person legally in the way the society allows, but in mind, rape remains the same. You are just thinking to rape the other person because you are aggressive. Rape means whenever an act is performed in a state of aggressiveness. All that you do before is just for you. Just to achieve the end, that is why when two persons get married, both play the sadness. Because you consider the other as your property, you can enter into one way in whatever you want. The other person has to suffer the moment. When you meet a girl or a boy for the first time, there is much hope. Before you enter into sex relation, you have to go on playing. 
so that sex does not look like a dream, but that is all the mind or things that is in the mind. In your mind, you are constantly thinking of the end, and everything is just persuasion, seduction, just to make the whole thing appear lovely. But you become, but the more you become intimate with the girl or the boy, the less foreplay is there. If you get married, no foreplay. That vanishes. Sex becomes just direct, something to be done and finished with. Look at your life, how people engage in love relations. If two persons are really in love, then not only for play, instead there will be after play as well. If two persons are not in love, then sex will happen and they will go to sleep. Turning their faces opposite to one another. This is what normally happens. Certainly there will, certainly will there be no more apathy. Fair play will not even be there. Maybe the woman may feel that she is being used, which is in most of the cases. Such is the experience of 99% of the women. And after play is impossible. Because what is the use now for the after play? The thing has happened. The end has been achieved. Real is in the mind. These are the subtle nuances of love or the need to be evolution. Sex center only knows real. It is the center of aggression. That is why military does not allow sex for soldiers. Because if they have sex relation that is fulfilled, they cannot be good fighters. The aggression moves through the sex center. If sex is allowed and a soldier is living with his wife or with his beloved, he will not feel like fighting on the battlefield. He is using all his aggression in the bedroom. This is one of the reasons. Why American soldiers are defeated every day. Their goals follow them. They cannot be aggressive because the center of aggression is sex. If sex is allowed, aggression flows out of you, and then you do not feel like fighting. The aggression flows out of the sex center, so your aggression flows out the act of love. So the soldiers have to be prohibited from sex. They must suppress their sex. Then the whole sex becomes aggression. Then rather than entering a woman's body, they can enter anybody's body with a bullet. But it is the same thing. The end. Your bullet, your knife, your guns are just phallic symbols. You look at the bar arsenals and phallic bullets. They look exactly the same. The shape of us, your bullets, your knives, your guns are just phallic symbols to enter the other body to destroy. Look at these war arsenals and your phallic center to resemble. The coaches of athletes who go to the Olympics advise them not to have sex at least for two weeks before. Because if you have sex, you will not be a good runner. From there, will you get the aggression to fight and run and compete? All villages all over the world, except Tantra, have told their wants to be sent because they think that religion is also a sort of a struggle, a fight. You have to fight with yourself to retain the aggressive energy. So you retain the aggressive energy because you have to fight. And you have to fight with yourself. This is the way the religions have told their minds to be made sanity. Sex can easily become violence because it is passion, because it is already real. In the name of sex, so many crimes like murder, etc. take place. Behind all crimes, most of the crimes, the intention is free. Heart center or left center is totally different. Heart center or the left center is totally different. It 
it is non violent it is passive and not even active it can come to you like a silent over you and that too when you invite that is why persons like buddha and jesus have so much love over you however you cannot feel their love because you can feel love only when it is too wild man has become addicted to violence and buddha's love is so silent it shows us but we cannot feel we have to become we have become so insensitive only when when someone attacks that we start feeling that there is love the heart center is not the center of passion instead it is the center of compassion and compassion is absolutely different from passion just because it is non aggressive energy moving without any noise but you have to become more sensitive to feel therefore only very sensitive persons can become attracted to buddha and all other buddhas because only very sensitive persons can feel the stream of love is overflowing if you are asking for a strong dose of passion then buddha will you just okay nothing really comes out of it therefore always remember this passion has to be transformed into compassion only then you will move from the sex center to the heart center love has to be compassion your passion has to be transformed into compassion only then you will move from the sex center to the heart center now even your heart has to follow your sex center this is higher following the lower then your sex center will follow the love center the heart center the lower following the higher and this should be the order of your being always lower following the higher then lower becomes totally different the quality changes try to understand this when our center or your love center follows the sex center this is higher following the lower then your sex center will follow the love center the heart center this is lower following the higher and this should be the order of your being always lower following the higher then lower becomes totally different the quality changes when sex follows love sex becomes beautiful when sex follows love sex becomes beautiful it is a grace a bless when love follows sex love becomes ugly a destructive and you destroy each other through love all the courts of the world are filled with persons who have been in love and now are destructive to each other you look at when two persons are ready to divorce this one and what is their nature what is their approach what is their attitude to what nearly 50% of marriages break down completely and the other 50% continue somehow but certainly not for the maybe for other reasons children society family prestige money and other reasons but certainly not for the fifty persons break down completely love has become so destructive because it is following the lower sex always remember the lower should follow to the higher then everything is beautiful and a blessing nothing is to be denied there is no need to deny again only let the higher be because following the higher the lower changes its plan if the higher has to follow more everything becomes ugly If the master follows the disciple happens it is like the master following the disciple the disciple has bad habits it is aggressive and if the master follows the disciple for the higher calling of the lord it can be chaos so it is always the lord has to follow the path thus when the disciple follows the master all your outer life follows the inner life there is transformation the outer life must follow the inner vivekananda has said the reality lies within and outside is a mere reflection when the light starts descending from within and reaches the circumference it is one when you reach from the 
is circumference to the center, it is the other. This is where the outer is followed in the and then sex starts following the love center. Starts looking towards the center of love or the heart center. Then there is the there is benediction, there is fulfillment. This is where the lower emotions dissolve. There is no jealousy, there is no anger, there is no lust. Simply a sharing of the existential life. And this is the purpose of the feeling. It is at this stage the two becomes one comes, one life is pulsating through two bodies. Look at the lines around introspect, look at your own life and try to bring transformation. This was an important question which I could not overlook. I only respond to the questions. And this is the reason that as part of my words, I speak on applied spiritual, not the conventional. In conventional one, you are just trying to philosophize the scriptural injunctions. But in applied spiritual, you are pouring your entire energy into a particular subject matter that you are doing. It, comes, it is the process of human transformation. It brings change into human life. And sometimes things like these, when they are spoken, you are wandered with surprise. How deep are the things that we have taken it just lightly on the surface? I have been engaging in the act of love making, but I never knew that. There are many dimensions of which we are not aware of. Therefore, it is the more the sex center has to look for to the center of love, the heart center which is higher. You have to look always towards the higher for drawing the inspirations of love for the mass, then transformation is possible. This is all about love and sex.